Okay, this video is about Stephen King. Yeah, he's definitely a reptile. And it takes one to know one. But yeah, he's definitely a reptilian. Um, he's not a hybrid. He's more than a hybrid. He was a uh, reptilian in his past life, just like me. Incarnated into this life in a human form. Yeah, the reason why I wanted to look him up is because many, many years ago, I thought it was more like 20 years ago, but Storm of the Century was made, it was a little early, it was a little later than that, um, 1999, but I thought it was more like early nine, 1990s was when I saw that movie. But no, it was more like 1999. I think that's when that movie came out, Storm of the Century. But I didn't understand it at that time. I bought it. I happened to buy it at Big K in 2010. And, um, you know, my mass awakening was, awakening was in 2012. And then I watched it again in like 2013 or 2014. Something like that. So then I understood the movie. I knew that that Mr. Linoge was playing a reptilian manifesting here in physical form from the fourth dimension. And I knew Stephen King had, you know, written the story or whatever. So that's when, uh, several months ago, I thought, well, I need to go look up Stephen King. Yeah, sure enough, he's a definite reptile. Look at him, man. Look at his mouth. I mean, he even looks like a toad. I mean, this is what a toad looks like. See? Look at his mouth. Yeah, a definite reptile. Okay, so here's Stephen King. And here is... Look at his I mean, you don't have to see these people shapeshift to know that they're reptile. You just have to know what they do, read their energy, and look at their physical features. You don't have to necessarily see them shapeshift. But yeah, I mean, he's a cool guy. Um, I just, I saw Storm of the Century, and I read Diaries of Ellen Rimbauer. I saw uh, uh, Rose Red. I mean, that's all I've ever really, you know, I was never really into him. You know what I mean? I hate to read, so I don't read books. But yeah, look at his mouth, man. That's a definite reptile. See the resemblance? See this little amphibious little reptile? This little toad? I have one of them too. But yeah, I mean, look at him. And then I looked up to see how tall he was, and he's six foot four, I believe. Six foot four, which is pretty damn tall. And he's from, I guess he, he lives in Maine, or maybe he's from Bangor, Maine, or whatever. I don't know if he lives there now, which is very appropriate, because we rep reptiles, we can't stand the sun. I can't stand the sun. Um, I can take the heat if there's no sun out, but I can't take the sun. So it makes sense that he lives in Maine, because that's a colder climate. And we reptiles, we like cold climates. But yeah, Stephen King is a definite reptilian. And, I mean, no, I'm not dogging him or anything. I'm just saying it's obvious he's a reptilian. 
Um, but yeah, and anyway, so here's a little bit of shape shifting. It's kind of funny shape shifting, but right here, I brought up this old video and his hand right there. Look at his hand. That looks like a foot of a reptile. It looks like a foot of a reptilian. Some of those creature monster reptilians, you know, that they make for like Jupiter ascending. If you look down at their feet, that reptile in Jupiter ascending, you know, had a big foot and he only had three toes. But look at his hand. It's morphing into a reptile foot. See, that looks like a foot. Now, um, I've seen the reptilians, um, you know, I've seen their faces before, the fourth dimensional reptilians. I've seen lots of them. And um, I've seen uh, their hands before. But I've never seen their feet. You know, only in movies and stuff have I seen their feet, like in Jupiter Ascending. That reptile that, you know, the reptilians that were in Jupiter Ascending. Those draconian reptilians or whatever. But I just think it's funny, his, uh, his hand right there is morphing into a reptilian, three-toed reptilian foot. It just looks kind of funny. And then that's him right there. But yeah, he's a definite reptilian. And I'm going to do another video about Storm of the Century. But yeah, all you got to do is to spot these reptilians is read their energy, number one. Uh, possibly see if you can maybe develop the skill to see shape-shifting, number two. Look what they do for a living. Number three, I mean, look look what the hell he does for a living. Look at all his, all of his damn, you know, books and his movies. I mean, it's all reptilian themes. You know, and paranormal, you know, themes. I don't know what you call it. Occult themes or whatever. Maybe there's better words to use. I don't know. But, um... Yeah, and just look at their physical features. I mean, that's all you have to do. But most of these people, they don't even know the reptilians, you know. They don't know the reptilians. They don't even know they shapeshift. Most of them do not know. A lot of them may know that they're different, and maybe they always knew that they felt different, but they'll never figure it out. You know, they may never figure it out, but sometimes they maybe will. Maybe not till they're 80 years old. But most will never figure it out that they're a reptilian or, you know, another alien hybrid or alien soul being. But there seems to be more reptilians uh, than any other hybrid. There's a lot of other hybrids, but the reptilians seem to be the majority, you know, on planet Earth. But yeah, so that's Stephen King. And he's a definite reptile. Okay, Stephen King. And here's his movie. Storm of the Century. I'm going to do another video about that. But yeah, Stephen King is a definite reptile. Reptilian. 